It has begun. As you say. It has begun. It shall be done.
As you say. I could have a try at that. Hmm. Perhaps I could have a try at that. Do not let them overwhelm us.
Very well. any more of our people hurt. I ask you this now, outsider. Are you willing to parlay? Not with me. She means you no harm. <laughs> Provided your willingness to parlay in peace is an honest one. Swift Runner did not think it would matter. <laughs> the lady disagrees. And since you have forced your way this far, we must acquiesce to her wishes. <sighs> Follow me. <laughs> I bid you welcome, mortal. I am the Lady of the Forest. Do not listen to him, Lady! He will betray you! We must attack him now! Hush, Swift Runner. Your urge for battle has only seen the death of the very ones you've been trying to save. Is that, is that what you want? No, my lady. Then the time has come to speak with this outsider, to set our rage aside. I apologize on Swift on his behalf. He struggles with his nature. Truer words were never spoken. But few could claim the same as these creatures. No doubt you have questions, mortal. There are things that Zathrian has not told you. Because there are things that he would not tell. It was Zathrian who created the curse that these creatures suffer. <sighs> the humans. Tortured the boy, killed him. The girl they raped and left for dead. The Dalish found her, but she learned later she was with child. She killed herself. Zathrian came to this ruin and summoned a terrible spirit, binding it to the body of a great wolf. So with a fang came to me. Witherfang hunted the humans of the tribe. Twisted and savage, just as Witherfang himself is. They were driven into the forest. When the human tribe finally left for good, their cursed brethren remained. Pitiful and mindless animals. Until I found you, my lady. I showed Swiftrunner that there was another side to his bestial nature. I soothed his rage, and his humanity emerged. And he brought others to me. They are still cursed, mortal. We seek to end the curse. Word was sent to Zathrian every time the landships passed this way, asking him to come, but he has always ignored us. We will no longer be denied. <sighs> we spread the curse to his people, so he must end the curse to save them. Please, mortal. You must go to him. Bring him here. If he sees these creatures, hears their plight, surely he will agree to end the curse. Tell him if he refuses, I will ensure that Witherfang is never found. Outside of this chamber, the passage leading back to the surface has been opened for you. Begun. It shall be done.
Ah, and here you are already. I am a keeper, with access to powers your king has long forgotten. There was no way to tell what would happen once you reached this ruin, so I decided to come myself. Yes, yes, there will be plenty of time for that. Did you acquire the heart? You didn't. May I ask then, why are you leaving the ruin? You do understand that she actually is Witherfang? She is the powerful spirit of this ancient forest that I summoned long ago and bound in the body of the wolf. Her nature is that of the forest itself. Beautiful and terrible, serene and savage, maiden and beast. The curse came first from her. Those she afflicted with it mirrored her own nature, becoming savage beast as well as human. I find that difficult to believe. They attacked my clan, and they were the same savages then that they have ever been. Come, I will accompany you back to the ruin. Let us go and speak to the spirit, and I will force her into Witherfang's form. He may then be slain and the heart taken. Why? You claim they have regained their minds, but they are still savage beasts. All they want is revenge, or a release that I will not give them. No, let us take the heart and end it. You were not there. You did not see what, what, what they did to my son, to my daughter, and so many others. You are not Dalish. How can you know how we had to struggle to be safe? How could I have let their crimes go unanswered? Tell me, if you held your own daughter's lifeless body in your arms, would you not also have sworn an eternity of pain on those who did such to her? Very well. You wish me to go and talk? I will do so. But what if it is only more revenge they wish? Will you safeguard me from harm? I fail to see the purpose behind this, but... Very well. So here you are, spirit. <sighs> she is the Lady of the Forest! You will address her properly! You've taken a name, spirit? And you've given names to your pets? These beasts who follow you? It was they who gave me a name, Zathrian. And the names they take are their own. Who they are has not changed from whom their ancestors were. He will not help us, lady. It is as I warned you. No, I am here to talk, though I see little point in it. We all know where this will lead. It does not have to be that way. There is room in your heart for compassion, Zathrian. Surely your retribution is spent. My retribution is eternal, spirit, as is my pain. This is justice, no more. Are you certain your pain is the only reason you will not end this curse? Have you told the mortal how it was created? And so he did. Witherfang and I are bound as one being. Your people believe you have rediscovered the immortality of their ancestors, Zathrian. But that is not true. So long as the curse exists, so do you. No! That is not how it is! I did it for my people. I did it for my son and my daughter. The curse would not end with Zathrian's death. His life, however, relies on its existence. And I believe his death plays a part in its ending. Then we kill him! We tear him apart now! For all your powers of speech, you are beasts still. What would you gain from killing me? Only I know how the ritual ends, and I will never do it. Ha! You see? We must kill them all! See? They turn on you as quickly. Do what you have come here to do, Grey Warden, or get out of my way. We're standing for what's right here, no matter what. Then you die with them. All of you will suffer as you deserve.
cannot, cannot defeat you. Finish it. Kill him now. No, Swift Runner. We will not kill him. If there is no room in our hearts for mercy, how may we expect there to be room in his? I cannot do as you ask, Spirit. I am too old to know mercy. All I see are the faces of my children, my people. I, I cannot do it. Perhaps I have lived too long. What of you, Spirit? You are bound to the curse just as I am. Do you not fear your end? You are my maker, Zathrian. You gave me form and consciousness where none existed. Yet of all things, I desire nothing more than an end. You shame me, spirit. I am an old man, alive long past his time. Then you will do it? You will end the curse? Yes, I think it is time. Let us... Let us put an end to it. It's over. She's gone, and we're human. I can scarcely believe it. We'll leave the forest, I suppose. Find other humans, see what's out there for us. It should be quite interesting, don't you think? Thank you. We will never forget you. It has begun.
Very well. It is done. The essence of the wolf's heart has banished all traces of cursed blood from the hunters. It is too bad that Zathrian had to die. I... I felt it when he departed. I think he was ready to go. It will be difficult to fill Zathrian's shoes. But I am Keeper now. Let me say it officially then. I hereby swear to uphold the terms of the ancient contract our people formed with the Grey Wardens. Call and we shall come, with great speed and purpose. It has been a long time since the Dalish march to war. You have returned. Is there any chance dead? What happened to her? The Keeper told me the truth? Are you certain? No, of course not. At least she is at peace. Here is the... Now I should go and make arrangements. 